Hey guys, I'm Ross Vane, and welcome back to another part of the Evil Within 1. Where we last left off was that we freaking went through the whole, like, tomb of the church. Or the undertomb of the church, I guess. Um, I just wanted to... I, I, don't, I know I need to save more things. Like, I want to save up some neural water for other future updates or upgrades. But every time... Every stinking time, I feel like I want to upgrade something so I can get one step closer to what I want. I just, I just want to upgrade some stuff because it's like, it makes sense for me to upgrade. But I'm like, I don't want to because it gets... With a headshot, yeah, I don't know. Like, sometimes it just doesn't need a headshot, I guess. I don't know. What's funny is that there's no accuracy in the sniper rifle. So there's, so the developers or the designers were thinking... The player's gonna have full controls of accuracy. The, the accuracy is great. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Whatever. Um, do I want to do more stock? Maybe. Maybe more stock on grenades. Because I have seen a lot of grenades being handed out to me. Because I'm like... I'm like seeing some of the... Oh, uh, not what I want. I wanted to see the if I can upgrade anything here. I do need to upgrade this, but this takes a lot of time to get there. Fire damage added. I don't know if fire damage will insta-kill them, maybe? At the same time, I don't even know if this game has a new game plus. If there's a new game plus and everything is like somewhat almost the same, like Dead Space 1 has new game plus. I don't know if Dead Space 2 has it, but I know Dead Space 1 does, and they're fantastic with the New Game Plus stuff, because I have played it with New Game Plus, and it was fun to just complete everything for all your weapons, and you're like, oh, okay, I guess I'm done now, and stuff like that. But this is like, there's a one-way ticket strategy, and that's it. Like, whatever came about with this strategy is more, it's not even a strategy, it's a tactic, to be honest. It, it's like a, like a one-time tactic thing, where it's just like, if I wanted to do this, that's because I had the ability to, or the chance to, and I took it. I took the chance to do it, whatever it is. Um, yeah, so, I mean, if anything, I don't know. Like, every time, every single time I'm seeing this, I'm like, I don't know. Clip capacity? Hmm... I don't know, it's so difficult to choose. Uh, I'm like, I want this and I don't want this. Ugh. Shotgun would be useful. Reload time would be useful in this as well. Mm. The critical is pretty high, which is great. I upgraded the critical just enough for it. You know what? Sure. I'll take this. Because I do need the headshot from the shotgun. Better. Better than anything, I think. Because... Okay, I'll save the rest. But any, but a shotgun... The shotgun to the head hasn't been useful lately. So that's why I feel like... If I can pull off a... 20% headshot... Fine, I guess. Alright, let's go and open this... This final door thingy. I believe if I do this... There's going to be a fight. Like, I don't know. I feel like... So there's one thing I was wondering about in the last episode. In the last episode, if you haven't watched it, I recommend you watch it. Well, not this one. Not this way. If you haven't watched it, I recommend you watch it. Rewatch the last episode if you missed out on it. Um, which I, I'm pretty sure if somebody's watching this, they wouldn't be like... I'm waiting for the next episode. Well, maybe actually small amount of people do, but very, very small. But like, if somebody, it's like, somebody from far off in the future, they see the the whole thing in one go or one sitting, like a binge watching of the series, they will probably remember what I was talking about for this part, which is basically this little area. I don't exactly know how I would access this area. Like, I'm trying to get to this area. And architecturally, I don't know if this sounds like it's true, but you can't get into this room via that one way I was going to go into. Oh, then, and there's a statue lady right there. I just see that. Oh my god. It's like a treasure just like sitting right in front of me. I can't do anything. I literally can't do anything. 
I, I'm seeing this and it's like taunting me. I don't like this. Tangleworks. I, the designer who made this dungeon. Ugh. It's like a pure like treasure of troves here. Look at this madness. It's like three freaking neural water jars and a, and a key. Three jars of neural water and a key. Yeah, Sebastian, mess with that revolver. Jesus, I don't know how this works. Map-wise, I'm thinking, like, do I even have a map? No, I don't. Journal. No, I don't have a journal. Inventory? I don't have an inventory. Ay ay ay. I know this is the old room. I, I was here, and I, I stopped going through there, so I didn't worry about that. But... Damn, how do we get through here? I know there's a, a, a wall over there. Like, there's a pathway over there. That area over there is inaccessible because I don't know where exactly where it comes from. That's my palm. I don't know where that's going from. And if I open this door to that area... Uh, yeah, there's no other way behind, behind that. Trying to figure out if there was a way that I... Was there a pathway that I missed? <laughs> I don't know. I, I feel like there's a pathway that I missed. I just don't know. I'm a bit perturbed. I'm a bit annoyed. You know what? I'll just go through it. Screw it. I don't think I'll ever get the lady in the three jars of freaking neural water. I really want to get them, but... I'm assuming that the designer is just like... Screw it. Oh, jeez. What? Why? Oof. Okay, well, I don't know. Oh. Okay, that scared me a little bit. Uh, yeah, I don't have a lot of ammo for anything. Literally. But if I could have gotten the neuro water, I would have gotten it by now. Oh my god. Oh my god, no. Are those trip mines? Okay, I gotta strategize where I'm, where I'm, how I'm gonna do this. So there's two places in between. I see some edge cases, but I don't know exactly where to go from here. Okay, let's go. Hi, buddy. I know, I see that. Right when I right before I was there. Dude! Oh, I see. So then that would I see, so that's what they were doing here. Is there a pattern I had to follow, I'm guessing? Oh he's gone. So when does this thing start hammering down again? Well, I'm worried. Oh, come on. Now you start doing it? Oh god. No, 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 that that Oh my god, I'm dead. Yeah, I I was like I was disoriented. Nobody should do that. Nobody should force a player to just dis disorientate themselves the first thing you do. They disorientated me like crazy fast. Thank god that was a freaking checkpoint. I'm gonna cut that cutscene. I'm gonna skip that cutscene, pretty much. <sighs> I mean, I kind of understand where to go if they remove the first trap. Like, if they remove the first trap, basically it. Can I skip this? I can't. Okay, fine, whatever. But... Come on, step on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, there we go. I don't know how the disorientation works. Like, I, I just don't like the fact that they disorientate me right off the start. Like, I understand this is a memory game now. If, if that's the case that they disorientate the stuff, that means it's all memory. It's pure memory now. 
By that point, it's pyramid. Okay, let's go. Oh, no, I'm dead. I'm screwed. I was close. That was the ending part. I actually know where that is. I know exactly where exactly that is. That was close. We were almost there. We just needed to not step on that one mine trap. That one barb trap. Because that would have been, like, easy to just get by after that. Uh, attempt number eight. Here we go. Yeah, the disorientation is just... It's throwing me off. It's just literally throwing me off because I can't see what's coming and then at the same time my, my uh... At the same time, if I was Sebastian, I would have ran through this a long time ago and I would be able to see. Oh, no, no, no. I know what now. I have a thought. I have a really sinking thought. Not sinking thought, but like a really good thought. If you're playing this as a game in third person, fine. Fine, you're playing it in a in a third person way. Turn around. You're the you're the your ca your camera is basically at any place. I understand that, and the camera flipping to the front makes sense if you're playing this type of game. But if this was a first person game and you start flipping my orientation around to face my face while I'm running, that starts being a little annoying and that starts being less immersive. And I think this kind of has that issue where you shouldn't be forcing the player to just disorientate themselves. Oh, I made it, made it, made it, made it, made it, made it. Oh, chicken, chicken, <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. That's what it was called. <laughs> Woo. Oh. Leslie, you're safe. Yeah. Where's Kid? Kid. Kidman? Is she here too? No. Kid. Kid. Is she all right? Is she all right? All right. Stand I don't back. know. I'll get it open. Yep. All right. Um. No, I'm not gonna help you yet. Because I see lockbox head here. There's too many lockbox head here. Obviously, no, he's not gonna get out anytime soon. And obviously, I don't have ammo to just do anything. And why is this particle effect? Why is there a particle effect <laughs> through the room up here? I'm guessing that's like a setup for the next bit here. I'm assuming that there's something here that I want. Oh, I see. So when he gets... When Leslie gets out of here, I think, it's when he starts... When he, uh... When he starts getting... The stuff... What? Why one shotgun ammo? Why? Why? Why is there just one? Uh... All right. Yeah, I know, I know. You go ahead of me. I will get trapped here with lockbox head. Go, Leslie. Go, go, go. No, wait. It's fine. It's fine. I get it. No. It's time to fight. We got the lockbox head fight. Here we go. I forgot how we... F how would we fight this guy? I forget. Hi, buddy. How do I fight you, actually? Ooh, this guy runs. This guy, dude. This guy runs. Ooh. I don't know how you... F how to fight you, actually. Oh, ow. Ooh, gotta switch up. Here we go. Here we go. I don't know how to fight you, man. I really don't. Hi, buddy. Oh, boy. Wait, did he... Oh, he went down. Wow. Oh, no. Not again. Alright, here we go. Let's go in there. No choice but to get that thing. Not what I wanted. So they're not gonna let me do it. Oh, and then there would be a round two, isn't it? I know, I know, I know the guy's here. Get out of here, dude. 
Seriously. Seriously. You're kidding me, right? Oh my god, I hate this so much. Come on through. Got him. That was fast. Just two of the- Oh my god, why? Just why? I hate you so much, dude. Oh my god, seriously, I can't fight this guy if this is the case. Oh my god, I died. He goes down right as I die. <laughs> oh my god, this boss fight though. <sighs> yep, that's not a checkpoint. I don't know what to do with myself, I really don't. Because I don't see any possibility of killing him easily. But I know the, the bare thing I need to do, it seems. I know, I understand what to do now. There we go. Alright, let's get on moving. Yeah, let's... Alright, let's not waste the ammo here. Um, yeah, that's full right now on me. All right, here we go. Oh boy. Yeah, that was fine. That was fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I just didn't know what to expect, to be honest, when it came to, like, the second time. Because I thought I had to waste the ammo right then and there. Oh my god, I hate this so much. This boss fight is so far really bad. And really bad. Alright, that's... This is easy to deal with, I think. Yep. And then there should be one more, so that should be okay. That should be fine and dandy, to be honest. Yep, 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 yep. Killed yourself, I got it. Come to run, run for it. Does this thing stay dead? Oof. I have to like What did I get? No wait, do I have to kill him actually? Oh, I'm dead. I got hurt. Shot your ass. There we go. I think I had to kill him, yeah. And then that thing would open up. Okay, got it. That made no sense to me whatsoever, but okay, I'll take it. Well, he's dead, so I don't, I don't understand how this is gonna work. Run! There we go. Oh, run! There we go. Yeah, that's not very useful at all. Actually, I don't know why I ran that way. Oh my god, I'm gonna. Get, I'm gonna get screwed over by this. Yeah, I got screwed over. I really did get screwed over. Oh, man. Hi, buddy. I'm gonna run past you, bed. Bed. Oh, man. Alright, here we go. Come on. Oh, oh, I'm dead. Alright. Oh wait, that was over. Okay. Well, I got some spare parts. Oh, I can't run either. Okay, well. Alright, wait. Give me my healing. Alright. And then let me also... Craft up some stuff, I guess? Uh... Get out of here. Oh, god. No. Is it over?
Oh no, it's not over. Okay, fine. That's fine. That's fine and dandy, I guess. Alright, that's fine, I guess. I'll take it. I'll keep going. To be honest, I don't know where to go now. <laughs> what do I do now? And where is he coming from, actually? Oh, uh, there we go. This way. I don't even know where he's coming from. That's my problem. Alright, what do I do next? Do I go from here, I guess? I do not know where I'm going. I really don't. He's setting up more stuff, too, it looks like. All right, there we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Give me give me the way out. Get me the way out of here. Get me the way out of here. That should be the end of him. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. This guy is there another one? No, he killed himself this time, it looks like. I don't know what to live. I, I, I don't know how I would live with myself if I kept freaking failing that. But that went worse than I expected it to be. Oh no, please, not anymore. Oh, come on, really? Really? Seriously? Son of a gun. Unleash the crank. Yeah! Idiot. Finally. Oh, what's in the box? Just a bunch of blood and gore? Oh, that was annoying. Hey, we're back out somewhere else. I don't know where exactly, but... Actually, I want to actually get through this area. Can I... Can I... Can I... I'm going to waste my ammo for this. Nope, I cannot use it. Got it. I swear, I really want to go back in that room because there was some good stuff in those rooms. Damn it. I killed him two, three times and I got only ten. I only got 1,000. I wanted more. I wanted more stuff from that, but I didn't get anything out of it. Oh, I got ammo for my pistol? How did I get 7 out of 4? Oh, wait, was that the thing I picked up, I think? I'm guessing I picked up some pistol ammo rather than anything. Okay, well, I don't know exactly where I'm at, but okay. There's a thing behind. <laughs> wow, that's very well hidden. Great. Is this where the statue lady was at? No, it looks like I'm going deeper, which makes no sense at all. I mean, look around. I mean, there might be some stuff I might be missing if I don't be careful. If I'm not careful, I mean. Okay, that's a, a wall blocking me off from jumping over to the water side. So they don't, they don't want me going in the water at all. Okay. Alright, what's over here? Uh, there we go. Light. Oh, yeah, this is the thing that Leslie went through. Okay, so yeah, this is the jar that I saw earlier. 800? That's not a lot. Damn it, game. You're, you're disappointing me so far. You're disappointing me in the reward. <laughs> I come out of it and I only get like a thousand or something out of that. And I, I mean, it's not my fault that they don't tell you like, hey, you're not going to be coming back here. It's, it is, well, it's not their fault, yes, and it's not my fault that I didn't know that because they didn't tell me about it. They don't, they don't tell you enough that they're saying that you can't come back until you actually go through that. 
I'm feeling like they they left you to sort of just figure it out on your own, that they're not going to allow you to go through that anymore. I don't know. Alright, just double checking. Alright, let's go. Bet I'm gonna get hurt. No? Seriously? <laughs> Wow. Okay, well. Mm. I'll accept it. Whatever. Damn it, I failed it so hard. I just don't like freaking... Uh, plant seeded will grow. Well, at least Leslie is safe, but... Damn it, there's so much stuff I missed out on in that room. Or in that level in general. I think he fell, like Sebastian fell from the ladder. Yeah, he fell down. Actually, where did he come from then? I'm so confused. Oh my. Yeah, so I missed out on the freaking. Oh god, not again. I don't have ammo capacity to help fight these guys at all. Do I? Can't see you anymore. No, no, there we go. Oh, geez, come on, stop moving. There's one, one more. Don't move. Come on, this guy. In the back is just like, what the hell, dude? I'm wasting my ammo. I swear. I'm wasting my ammo because I can't shoot this guy. There we go. Freaking douchebag. Alright, here we go. Let's see, what do we have? Syringe? Syringe. Okay, I guess my chances of finding syringes are pretty heavy here today. Nothing there. Alright, so I'm gonna keep going until I find uh, spare parts. I'm guessing that was ammo for something. Yeah, these guys are dead now because I did power up. Oh, no, you're not dead. Okay, sweet. Not one I wanted to shoot in the back, wise. Get out of here, dude. Seriously? You go and spout out that crap on me? <laughs> Alright, pick up that. So I'm gonna wait till I get to the next checkpoint or save point, then I should probably end the episode, but that's because I'm probably cutting out like a chunk of me just dying <laughs> constantly. Man, oh man. Alright, well, let's get going. Alright, there we go. Alright. Okay, never mind. Can you guys climb is the question. Oh, you guys can. Okay. Uh. Can you guys go over here is the other question. Here we go. I'm gonna have to use the nade. Ooh, that was explosive. All right, here we go. Stay back. Stay back. Oh, that was close. Alright, here we go. Sniper rifle. Nice. More shotgun ammo. Nice. 
<laughs> They're giving me the wrong ammo for the wrong for the wrong reasons to be honest. Well actually not the wrong reasons, but the wrong ammo that I wanted. Come on, pistol ammo. Give me Ah, I don't want syringe. The syringe aren't helping. It's either neurowater or pistol ammo. That's all I need so far. <laughs> Shotgun and sniper are just caveats that don't really need to be used currently. By the way, I wonder why they changed it up enemy types to just be the spitters and the the tentacle arms looking like Oh, there's a key thing. Okay, I guess. That's so random just to have it like placed. I'm pretty sure some people might have missed that. I'm pretty sure somebody might have missed that. They're like, oh. What's going on? Burning that just in case, I guess. What's going on? Is somebody like screwing about? Somebody's like effing around up there or something. Okay, well. Oh wow. I don't know the pattern of how the thing is shooting, but I'm assuming that's the time to go now. Ooh, that was close. Run. Oh, I see it. Yeah, it still goes onwards. And then behind that tree is where I should be at. Or this is not a tree, but we'll see. Oh no, I hit my. Oh my god, that was just barely out of the place. I wonder why it doesn't hit the box. It's weird. Is this worth the ammo? I don't know. Not worth it. Okay, got it. Oh, I see. So from here on out, it's now from the right. It's now from the right side. Yeah, now it's on the right side. It seems like it's coming from the right side, Then and the left side will go from the left, whatever it is. Ooh, that was close. Run. Oh, that was close. So far, I'm sort of, like, wondering why they didn't give us extra, like, rewards for certain stuff. Like, design-wise, you, you know, like, when you beat the boss, you should get some extra rewards. Not, like, small amounts of rewards. Like, there should be a lot more rewards to just fighting that guy, even though he was never killable. I mean, the reward it comes from killing the guy but you don't have enough time to get him and it becomes a risk factor as you go by that area so I don't know I guess I see an audio thing here we go aberrant brainwave patterns observed in subjects number 25 and 33 and now again in 55 one common factor is a case history of disassociative identity disorder. Our previous experiments on the prefrontal cortex led to degradation. Oh, what the? F mm, not, not fun. Here. That is not fun looking. Suicidal thoughts and personalities exhibited as attacks on the core personality. As self consciousness waned, a sort of stasis was achieved. Like two creatures sewn together and forced to live as one. Yeesh. And only hating the other. Oh, there's more of you guys. Oh, okay. What are these things, anyways? Are there little kids? Like the representative of the kids? Seriously, this is so weird. Again, the shotgun is my crowd control weapon, so makes sense if it's using this. Um, I don't get the idea behind this whole thing, but I don't know what's I don't know 
what's going on. <laughs> I don't know. Everything's confusing me right now. I don't know what's going on. This game is confusing the hell out of me. I don't know what's going on. They just sent these little baby looking character or enemy types and I'm like, I don't know what that means. Is it like killable for any reason? Like, like if there's a certain amount that shows up, they form into a big body and you have to kill them before they turn into that kind of thing. I don't know. It's just so confusing. Throws me off too. I'm like, what? They're not attacking. They're walking about like a crazy thing. There's no beast monster, is there? In water. I need that ammo. I'm desperate for the ammo. At the same time, I do need neuro water, so that's perfectly fine. Now we're in the 5,000s. I just need to get to the 12,000s. Please. Give me 12,000, please. I know I need to start saving some, but eh. There goes the babies again. Are they more efficient in water, I guess? Well, the rat's dead. Wait, what do I do now? Do I have to shoot this thing, or what? What? What am I supposed to do? Is there something I missed? Let me shoot this. Nope. That was not it. I'm so confused what I'm supposed to do. I realized I didn't reload my uh, pistol ammo either. Alright. Um, no, I don't get it. Is there another thing I might have missed, I guess? I don't get it. I really don't get it. I don't really know where to go. <laughs> oh no. This is bad. This is really bad. They don't tell me where to go. I mean, I see a way. Oh, wait, maybe I should jump over it. That might be the case. Let's try that. Let's try jumping over it, and then... If anything, then that would be the case here, I guess. Yep, it was jumping. Do you guys really actually fight or not? Oh my god, one is glitching out. One of them started glitching out. Oh, <laughs> he's floating. Oh no, the rat's floating. Oh no. The f oh, he disappeared. He, he got despawned. Now that's a familiar sound. That is a truly familiar sound. Not surprising. Oh, hey. Whoa, crap. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Burn ya. There we go. Ah, damn it. Yeah, so they do start getting... They start annoying me a little bit, I think. Get out of here. Oh, ow. Yeah, there it is. There's the problem. Get out of here. So they do start annoying you, annoying you after like a certain a certain degree of like showing up. All right, got it. That is duly noted. So they become annoying after a certain amount of time. And they jump at you, so that's kind of what they do, it looks like. Because it does remind me of the Necromorphs in the Dead Space 2, or Dead Space 1 and 2, where uh, there's these little tiny little things jumps on you, and like you have to get them off. It's kind of like that, but it's like they just use their head with full capacity to shoot at you, like a bullet shooting at you. Okay. 
Okay, I guess. Oh, ammo. Nice. Yeah, they're giving me less ammo as I keep going. And I mean, this game is more of a shooter now. It's, I think at this point, or around this point, is when the game starts getting less scarier. It just becomes more intense in terms of, like, fighting. Like, you have to just fight for your life. Like a real survival horror, but it's not horror-based. It's a survival game. Or survival fighting. Or survival action adventure. Whatever it is. Is that guy still alive? Oh, okay. Hmm, okay. Of course, pause and read. I mean, I'm not really, like, gonna read everything. Alright. Pause and read that, of course. I mean, kind of the general gist. I feel like the thing stopped. Oh. Okay. Well, we got one of the plates. We're missing one more. Yeah, let's burn this guy. Rest in peace, man. I'm the per I'm I'm guessing he's the one who just kind of got trapped there. Now to figure out where the second plate is. Where would the second plate be? Where would you place the second plate if I was a designer? Um, let's try that. Let's try up here. Let's see what what do we got up here? Nothing. All right. Um, maybe we need to un put in the first slot first. Then we'll figure out what where the hell the next one is at. What? I... Okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't know... Uh, I don't... I don't really know which one was which. To be honest, I didn't even expect anything. I just like, I just randomly chose, because it was a 50-50 chance he would die. And like, there was no indicator of like, how that 50-50 was gonna go. This looks like Leslie's calling out. Ooh. Whoa, we're back in the hospital. Wait. Map fragment. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Map fragment. Yeah, yo. Is that a bomb? No. All right, let's get going. I'm having a feeling we have to get through this quickly. All right, let's get going. And I really want to save pretty badly now. All right. Well, I don't... Doc. Doc, what the hell is going on? There's no time. I need to figure out how to reverse this if we're going to stop him. Who? This Ruvik guy? Who the hell is he? Yeah. I'm sorry, I have to find this. I can't help if you leave me in the dark, Doc. Yeah. And you need me to help. He will... We... We're working on a method. How can I explain this? It's like linking brains together. Sharing everything on an electrochemical level. Emotion, memory, perception, everything. Directly. It's unprecedented. The implications on psychology, on pharmaceuticals, on consciousness itself. Are you serious? It's a fucking nightmare. Yeah. I didn't say it was perfect. Especially not with such a unstable host. Great. So your research partner is a psychopath. And we're all inside his head. 
Well, he's not a psychopath. I mean, he just has a, a, an agenda. All of us are contributing on some level. But he's the only one with conscious influence. You know how In this world. What does he want? Well, it's just a theory, but... I'd say he wants us dead. Yeah, he wants only one body. The one who stays the strongest... The one who stays the strongest, basically, is who he's gonna take over. So, like, if I was to survive, then... Doctor? If I was the one to survive, then that's it. Like, that's the body he wants. That's basically it. But if we can defeat him in time, then we should be good, I think. Pause and read, of course. Typical stuff. I just hope that they give us back to the... Checkpoint or save point already, because... I'm already going overtime by a lot. Way too much. This is way too much overtime. Oh boy, Leslie's still calling out to us. What the... N when did you show up? You didn't tell us when you showed up. I was wondering if that was going to be a running scene. I feel like that would be. Okay, you killed yourself almost. You hurt yourself. Have fun getting slammed. Oh, hey. <laughs> yeah, I think that was Ruvik. That was the Ruvik's true monster form, I think. Ruvik, please let me save. Wait, that's it? That was it? That was chapter 8? Oh, come on. That was so stupid. That was such a short chapter. Alright, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you guys haven't. Hope you guys in the next part or nobody in minds, and hope you guys have a great, amazing day. We can night whenever you're watching this. Sorry for going over time a little bit here. I didn't expect myself to go for another 20 minutes or so after that whole thing. Um, if it is 20 minutes, that is. At the same time, there wasn't a lot to expect for Chapter 8, which was weird. It's really weird. I thought there was going to be a lot more. But there seems to be a lot less, apparently. But... Eh, whatever. We'll take whatever we got. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. And that will be it for me in this part and probably today in general because I will be done with this series for the time being. I will continue doing another one session with this one uh, when I finish editing this video and pushing it out. Pushing it out. Um, but yeah, man, this game so far is just like, uh, it's getting through there quickly. So who knows? Well, I hope to finish this in time so we can get the second one going because I know that the second one has been really anticipated in my mind that I want to continue and start up and such. So, yeah. Anyways, Roz, out.